Okay on YouTube. Okay on Facebook. Good evening all. Um, if you're with us this morning, welcome back. If you're just joining us, welcome. It's a Wednesday night, it's 7 p.m. And we're uh, about to start our second edition of our Argentine Tango, uh, relating it to the Argentine Stroll, the sequence dance that some of you uh, definitely do. Um, <clears throat> tonight, uh, we'll possibly just walk through the first part that we did on Monday quite quickly and carry on and add some more for you. <clears throat> Shanna there is just uh, checking everything's working yeah. and uh, that um, people um, are coming on and getting through. I think we're live, I think we're okay. <clears throat> so, as ever, um, our house rules are the first one. Uh, you do this at your own risk. Um, <laughs> it's a disclaimer there, we have to do it. Yeah. So what we want you to do, um, if you're joining us, and especially if you're going to dance, we want you to push everything back out of the way, the tables, the chairs, the sofas, um, <clears throat> avoid any slippery surfaces on the floor, uh, any uh, rugs or anything, uh, if they're on laminar floors or so on, just make sure they're all out of the way, uh, that any pets are secure, uh, that they're not going to get in your way or they're not going to get hurt. Uh, also have a drink on the side for yourselves because you're more than likely to want one. And as ever, <clears throat> which is always important, through there on the left are ladies and gents. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So, um, right, uh, you're checking your people coming on board. Aren't yes, you? do you want to say hello to those who've come on already? I can. Get ready, get ready to wave. I'm going to wave. On YouTube, this is very telling. Mm -hmm. um, hi from Caroline and Bob in Norfolk. We enjoyed the Jitterbug stro stroll earlier, but. <laughs> dot, 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 dot. So we're waiting for the dot, dot, dot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sitting down with a glass of wine now, I yes. suspect. Mm -hmm. um, okay, let's have a look. While um, she's looking, I'll give you one or two little things about um, the Argentine tango. Monday night, we finished when we were just going into the 20th century, I believe. Uh, so Argentine tango had been about maybe for around about 20, 22, 23 years. Um, at the beginning of the 20th century, <clears throat> It was starting to take off. It was still only danced by um, the working class, but what it was doing after those first 20 years, it was spreading out right across the Americas, into mm -hmm. North America as well. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> interest had started to come around uh, very in small pockets in Europe, um, but once again, uh, it was only by the working class. The middle and upper classes, uh, it was far too sensual a dance for them to do at that present time. Okay, anyone? anyone? Okay, a couple more on YouTube. Uh, Sue and Barry from Rosendale. All oh, right, okay. I think that's uh, one of the first times I've seen them mm, comment. They yes. may have been watching, but we didn't know. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, Liz in Dublin has just come on. Right. Hello, uh, are you ready for the Facebookers? Yes. Get your hand ready to wave. <laughs> okay. David Smith. Oh, are you bring David? Yes. Um, Nigel says hi de hi. There we go. Um, Andrew's on. Hi all. Linford and Kathy. Oh, good evening. Linford Gloria, I think from beautiful Budley Sal uh, Salterton, Salterton, but she hasn't yes. said it. But I'm sure that's where she's from. Uh, Matt and Joe are back on. Cheryl and John from Exmouth. David and Adele. I'm trying to remember where you guys are from. I want to say Liverpool. Um, Caroline and Bob from Rainy Norfolk. Oh. Well, it rained all day here, but it's quite nice now. Yes. Just yes. don't look at the garden with all the dandelion heads. Mm -hmm. um, Heather Rose from Peterborough. Stephen and Catherine are watching. <laughs> the Todds. Good, good evening, Mr. <laughs> and Mrs. Todd. <laughs> Julian's watching again. Bernadette from Rotherham. Uh, Mary Reese is uh, using a broom as a partner. Do you know what? I hope they leave I as well. I've very often thought about doing yeah, that. There's an answer to that, isn't there? <laughs> um, Barbara and Jack. Oh, good evening. Um, Ian and yeah. Christine. And they've said here they're going to give us some of their fat rascals. <gasps> yeah. That's just me saying that. <laughs> <laughs> you just want a fat You never know, like. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Little wink. Um, mm -hmm. Let's have a look down. Pam and Jim are back from v Vancouver Island. Oh. Katie and Ant. Celia's back again. Have you recovered from this morning, Celia? Could we had a good <laughs> It's one of the harder ones, wasn't it, the sections today? Carol's watching. Um, Sandra and Trevor, I think, from Essex. 
Uh, Carol's just said hello, we got here just in time. Oh, good. Okay, let's have a look at a few more right. on YouTube now. And then we can't miss anybody out. Mm -hmm. Sriani yeah, from Durham. Um, oh, that's a nice name. What's that? Lirios. Mm. Oh, Lirios. Oh, right, that's from John, John and Pat in Spain. Must be on a different oh. email. Brian and Bronwyn from Scotland. Robert and Lindy from Brixham. <laughs> Brenda and Michael are on, and she's still able to dance after the jitterbug this morning. Okay. It was a good workout, wasn't it, today? Yes. I needed to lie down after that. Um, hi. Oh, big hi from Tom in Seven Oaks. Oh. And Heather and Bert have just come on from Scotland. There you go. Hello, Hello. everybody. Good evening, everybody. I'm Hope you're all welcome. well. So, what we are about to do is we're going to walk through the first part, which we did um, on uh, Monday night. Um, we'll walk you through a couple of times once and then back this way so you just so if you didn't manage to look in on Monday night um, just go along with the second half but you'll if you've already danced the Argentine stroll then uh, you should be fairly okay with this um, what we will do this evening we'll use the first part to look at the Argentine stroll and then we will add um, in the second half uh, some uh, proper Argentine tango to it uh, to show you how those moves would work uh, because this has been danced, the Argentine show straight down the line of dance yeah. <clears throat> but um, <clears throat> what I can tell you going down the line of dance is perfectly normal but what you have to remember is that um, <clears throat> Argentine tango of which there are different types um, mainly throughout the Americas and, uh, and certainly when Argentine tango really took off from around about 1925 to 1956 in that period there, it was mainly what was called salon tango. Yeah. And that moved round the room anti-clockwise, just going around the line dance, and it was uh, bad form to go back the other way. Oh yes. It really was. So what you had to do is that when you were doing certain moves, is that if it did move like a front ocho, then that's as far as he went, and you always made sure, or the leader had to make sure, that he was ready to make his next move down the line of dance. Um, and the um, Argentine tango is normally danced in what we would class four over four time. Now, coming back, when Argentine tango almost stopped in Argentina, at the time of the military coup for almost 20 years, when it came back again um, in the early 1980s, uh, there, there was this rhythm called Tango Nouveau, which was actually danced and still is in two or four time. Yeah. Um, so uh, what we're going to do now is our Argentine stroll. Yeah. So we're going to keep it very... David's um, music. Yes, sorry. To yes, go. to David's music, which we used on Monday night, which is all to dance to. It's in sequence and fits really well, and it's um, it's a, a piece of music you will recognise. Burlesque. Yeah, we yeah. played it on Monday. Yeah, and uh, some might not have joined on Monday. Ah, okay. So, um, and he's done a wonderful job with this. It actually makes it makes it worthwhile and enjoyable to dance to some Argentine tango. You okay? There? You're putting your it's typical, it's typical, isn't it? It's just conked out, just as I was just about to come on the floor. Mm -hmm. um, so yes, yeah, so the first part is going to be stop it, I don't know, um, Argentine strong. Yes. So if you're after learning that and you're not as interested in the tango side of it, the Argentine tango, then um, watch the first part, um, and then obviously if you're really into the technique of the tango, that'll be the latter part. Yes. So hopefully, you know, you can sort of gauge. Your okay. area of interest. So the first thing we're going to do is bring Shanna through. We're going to switch it on. <laughs> Always you, worthwhile. You want to plug your? Um... No, it's okay. It okay. just it just switched itself off. Right. Okay. No, it might just that. Um, there you go. You're switched on. Thank you. Right. Okay. So we're going to walk it. Yes. I'm going to let you be in charge tonight. <laughs> Since when? Because <laughs> after the jitterbug stroll earlier, normally my knees are like, I've got big red marks here on my knees. My knees slapping. Now, for those of you that know us too, <laughs> and you come to classes with us, can you imagine her letting me be in charge? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. 
So, from the beginning, we're just going to do one walkthrough, aren't yes. we? Yes. Yeah. So, we're going to go slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, 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 quick, quick, slow, 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 quick, quick, slow, and. Okay, we'll do it once more. Mm -hmm. So you can either join in if you know it, or you can have a little watch, up to you. Ready, and slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, 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 quick, quick, slow, 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 quick, quick, slow, and... Okay, so... Um, for those of you that were with us on Monday night, um, hopefully you've got that. Um, any remarks coming in? <laughs> no, 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 mar no remarks at all about you <laughs> leaving, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this, okay, ready to use this? this, this, this no, no, it's just the last one I've seen there, it says, go for it, Phil. <laughs> from Jane. Who was that from? Jane. Oh. <laughs> Are you ready? Yes. Okay, music, twice. Yes. So this is what we did on Monday. This is where we left it on Monday. Yes. Right, onward, part two. We're okay. Yep, all looks okay. So straight in, part right. two. So, part two, where we've left it. We've finished. Um, Let's make sure we can see the Ocho. Okay, so the Ocho. Now, leaders, we, we've got the hardest job of all here because we have to stand there and do nothing. Okay? Which is hard. <laughs> okay. Follow up, you're taking two steps. We're going to step forward on the left foot, only a small step, and then step to the side on the right, so you're facing partner parallel. So when we've done the ocho, you've got to make sure you're very much to leader's right, right side. hand side. So we've got potential to move forwards. So don't take a huge forward step. Just think you need to end in front of them. So you want your left foot to mirror and be very, very slightly, if anything, to the right side of leader's right foot. So I make, I make sure I end like a mirror version. Okay, that's the first two slows. From there, we are both, leader on the right, follower on the left, going to take a step into forward. Then we're both going to take a step to the side. Four slow counts. Okay. Yeah, so make sure this right. from the and which is the ocho, we've got one, two, and we're facing each other. Now we're gonna go into fall away with a step and step to the side. So uh, leaders, we've um, basically got two steps there and followers have four. Shall we do it sideways? We can, so you can see. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I've done the archer. Sure. You probably can't see me now, but don't worry. I'll come, I'll come into view in a minute. <laughs> yes. So follower is going to take uh, two steps forward. One, two. two. Both now step into four away. Three. And then take a step to the side. Four. Four slows. So which one does leader start on? Which number? One, two, three, or four? 
Write it down, go and have a look in a minute. Which one does Lida start on? Do you want to do it again? <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you in a minute. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> you did that way, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so don't we have a check? There's the and. That's the and test. So we've got one, two, three, <laughs> four. Okay, so we've got four slows. Four slows. I'm going to see if anyone's. They might not even have come in yet. So she's just having a look while she's doing that. Well done, Pat. I'll give you a little bit more history. Um, from the early um, 19, uh, late 1900s, um, just starting the 20th century, um, Argentine tango, especially in the streets, was taking off. Right the way through till the early 1920s, it expanded rapidly. Um, but it was mainly danced in music halls on the outsides of uh, the cities and the towns where there was more London. Well done, Celia. Sorry? I'm telling them well done. All right, okay. Um, where they could get more people. In the cities then were quite packed, um, so most of the dance halls were on the outskirts. So from there, in the early 1920s, of course, uh, what you had then, you had Argentine Tango, you had 1920s Charleston, you also then still had um, the Viennese being danced and ballroom, uh, and of course most of these dancers were definitely being danced by the working class. Now, the middle and upper classes, they didn't get involved in these dancers until they could see that there was money to be made. And that's when they'd say, oh, we can invest money in either a music hall or something like of that nature. So uh, people will go to it and that's where we will make our money out. So basically, if you had money, you could make money. Uh, but it was the working classes that were actually developing these dancers. And as you can see, of course, that they were danced in the streets. They were danced by the, in the music halls by the working class, so nobody ever went to a dance school or a dance lesson to learn these dancers. They learnt off each other. Um, and then, as you can imagine, through the 1920s, and when we were talking about the Viennese waltz last week, around about 1929, when those first um, books were starting to be written about technique, they were actually writing those books to take the middle and upper classes, what they were dancing, which was ballroom, they were wanting to take it away and put it up here, away from street dancing, away from the, the working class people. Mm. It was the same with every rhythm. Every yeah. rhythm, really. It was being taken away from the working yeah. class, so, um, so people who could afford to do it could pay for it. Mm. Okay? Ready? Yes, one question about, um, thank you, it's great that you're asking questions, don't worry about asking the questions. Handful. Oh yes. So we've done the, um, into the Ocho, is it? So we've done the hook. Oh yes. Mm -hmm. So that way around, don't we? Yes. So if we're going that way. Okay. So we've done the hook. Mm -hmm. We're in, obviously, the closed border and hold. We, as we're going around, I give a little push to get myself round on the ronde. Now, as I'm doing my side step, I'm letting this arm slide through to a double hand hold, which allows me to do my art show much further away. If we were to keep a ballroom hold, <laughs> done this way, um, I wouldn't be able to get far enough away to come back in um, with, this, with the styling that they're using. Because obviously it's much like a sequence tango, uh, sequence Argentine tango. So doing at arm's length allows me then to move back, back into the partner. So double hand hold, leave this palm up, or this palm down. Also, uh, only one here made a significant comment that from, did you just come here? Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, when we go to this step to the side here, okay, and then she can either do the hook or the hand layer, yeah. she said that she can use her right hand to push herself off. And that's what she was doing. If you see my hold here, as she's taking off, I just bring my arm down to this level for her. What I'm not doing is pushing her. She's using my right hand and I'm keeping that nice and firm for her to push off. 
with just offering resistance. That's it. So what I'm not doing is pushing, but what I am doing is taking my body with her. My rotator. Yeah. So I can push on that hand all the way around. Yeah. Now, if I don't turn, then she's got nobody to grab hold of. <laughs> yes. <laughs> It'd be progressive on what we've got to somebody else. <laughs> and she's going against the line of dance, which isn't very good. Yeah. Okay. So we've done our four slow counts. We'll just do that once more. I'm just really conscious that I'm not sure how far down they can see the feet. So, ocho done. So, forward, side, behind, forward. side. I think we're probably okay up to there. From there. From there. We do something completely different to each other there. Right. Um, leader. Yeah, do leader first. Okay. Leader. If, um, if, if you just have to say, you can't see my feet. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into fall away from here. So my right foot goes back and my left foot goes to the side. Now I'm going to speed up with a quick, quick, slow. So I'm going forward on my right foot, forward on my left, then I'm actually going through to what we call a press line into my toe on this next step. And I'm turning to start to face diag centre. Okay. I would say, just watching the camera, if you could do it this way. Right, okay, so I'll let you see from my back as to where I'm aiming there. Go. Now I can do it this way, okay? So here, I'll I keep this side of the door, okay? So I've gone into fall away. That's number three. Step to the number side. Number four. Now, three steps. Right, One, left, two, right. press line. Now look at the direction of Phil's centre. This would be diagonal. You say so it's diagonal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so it's not line of dance. He's not facing line of dance. He's rotated 45 degrees to left. Well, actually, if, we, if this is our line of dance, now come yeah. back here. Dag centre. I'm in dag centre. I'm just seeing the sign behind yeah. you. Yeah, dag centre. Dag centre. Yeah. There. And if you can see the way I have turned my body, I'm actually doing this for a specific purpose. It's if you see, if I step straight through there, which you see a lot of people do in this dance, there is no space whatsoever for the lady to execute her move. So with a gancho is what she's doing. I'm coming through this way to go into that press line. Now as I turn, I'm actually turning her body so her foot can come through there. Yeah. And I've made this gap here so her foot can come through. If I don't do that and I stay like this... Just move back about two tiles worth. That's it, I've got you on YouTube now. Okay. okay, yeah. So if I stay like this and her foot comes through, um, it's more than likely going to bring tears to the eyes. <laughs> okay? There's not a lot of room there. Okay? So into that press line and we turn. And that's basically a move for, for any uh, gang jump, really, is to provide the lady with that space. Just, can I just point out your front foot? I'll just make sure you can see it on both. Can't quite see the, yeah, I can see it on both. Just notice how far off the floor Phil has taken that heel at that front foot. So it's right off the floor, right into the knee, weight over it. Okay, it's really critical you take that heel off the floor. Yeah. Should so, we just do once more into it? So we've got um, into four away. One. That's number three. That was four. Number four. Here we go. From a one, quick, quick, two, slow three. knee. And you also see that my back foot here, as I go into that press line, that my, if you can see my toes now, they're both facing the same way. Yeah. And that is helping me to give balance. So when we get into that position, and my partner actually does the gancho, what we did on Monday, we showed you about being on our own balance. Yeah. We should be on our own balance again. Okay. Okay, so it's a quick, quick, slow for leaders. That would be travelling line of dance. That was me getting my... I keep seeing wall behind you. Okay. Okay, so I'll do it for line of dance the standard way at the moment. Um, we've done our arch show. You've got to be able to see my feet, but this is the other bit we're particularly worried about. So we're going to do a forward and a side. The third slow is the one to fall away. The fourth slow is the one to the side. We don't do it in a straight line. We're going to actually do another zigzag. But it's going to be on a quick, quick, slow action. So we're just going to do forward and side, quick, quick, 
Then we're going to step back, uh, down line of dance on the left foot, slow. And then we're going to show you how to do a gancho properly and safely. Okay, so I've done the ocho, I do my forward and side. I do my fall away with partner. I do the side step and as follow, we're going to do forward, side, back. Forward, side, back. Okay, and really feel as though you're parallel backwards, so, so you're kind of perpendicular, okay, with the shoulder line. I'll do it that way so you can see that way too. So we've done our rock show, so we've done our slow, 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 quick, quick, slow, forward, side, back. I'll do it one last go, I'll do it the line of dance way. So from the arch, I'll try and come up a little bit further. So we've got our forward, side, back, side, forward, side, back, quick, quick, slow. Is that okay? Does that make sense? Hope so. Shall we dance it together? Yes. We'll do it three times. You can watch the first one maybe and then join in for two and three. Or if you've got it, join in from the first one. Go that way. Yeah, we'll take our line of dance. Mm -hmm. So we've done our art show. Don't worry that you can't see my feet at this point. So we're doing our one, two, three, four. From here, as we step through, we're going to go into the close ball and hold again. So it's going to be quick, quick, slow. And now I'm not going to do the gancho unless I know I've got a safe place to do it. I'm going to go through that in a sh shortly where you can really see it. Okay. Why do you always do it? Okay, from that up, Joe, this is our second go, ready, and slow, slow, number three, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. Okay, so I'm quite parallel, so my left side is to wall, my right side is to centre. Backing line of dance. Okay. One more guess. Our third go. From that ocho. And one, two, three, four. Quick, quick, slow. Okay. Let us know. I'm quite keen to know if you're okay up to that. It's quite a critical point because I want to make sure we're okay before we go to that um, gancho. Okay. So I'll just give you a couple of seconds. I'm sure Phil will give you another nugget. Yes. Of information while I just wait for your <clears throat> feedback to come through. So, as I said just a little earlier, the really um, the golden age of Argentine tango was from round right about mid 1930s through to about 1956. In the time in Argentina, when um, the, 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 the area of Perón, you know, um, <clears throat> Argentine tango was quite comfortably danced in the streets, it was danced everywhere, people felt quite comfortable. And then as you got then just into the 60s, from 60s through to the 70s, uh, in the time of the military coup, it came to a point where people weren't allowed to do it. Dancing in the streets was stopped. Uh, the actual um, act of dancing was almost um, abhorrent to the, um, the, the coup. The, there was so much oppression there that Argentine tango was dying a death rapidly. And um, it wasn't until after the um, military junta during, um, at the start of the 1980s um, was sort of being dismissed out of the way, uh, being dismantled, that Argentine tango started to take off again. <laughs> and uh, it was uh, some of the old brigade of the Argentine tango, the real masters of it, uh, went on a tour of, around Argentina and other countries in South America uh, <clears throat> uh, to try and start promoting the dance again. Okay. Okay. Um, I've only had hearts and, and thumbs up. Okay, so that sounds yes, good. That We've had just a sprinkling, so I'm wondering whether people are quite enjoying just watching. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you just want to watch. Um, so, gancho time. This is this can go wrong, but when mm -hmm. it goes right, it's pure tango. It's pure Argentine tango. So we thought you would just look at this. 
a little bit more down. <laughs> what we'd like to say, first of all, is that what, when we start talking about the pure Argentine tango, we're actually really just touching the tip of the iceberg. Oh, yeah, yeah. But this, this is this figure mm -hmm. uh, in the scroll is an Argentine tango figure. It is, yes. right. Mm -hmm. it, with, the, with the correct alignments and everything, yes. pretty much. Mm -hmm. So uh, we can use the technique directly on this bit. Okay. So should we do it sideways, which is the best way to do it? I think going that way. Yes. This way. Oh, you want to go that way? That way. <laughs> that way. <laughs> going that way. Yeah. They can see your legs. All right. I think I've got enough room to go across. Just a quick, quick slow. Right. Just a quick, quick slow. Okay. So we've done quick, quick, slow. <laughs> Hang on, what you said at the beginning Sorry. that I was going to run this. Switch your mic on. You see it now. <laughs> okay, who's leading this? Well, we need to do the gancho where they can see it. Right, just yeah, I'll shoot it off. Okay, yes, yeah. that. <laughs> yes, there's another. Uh, yes, ready? And a quick, quick, slow. Okay, that's the position for a gancho. Standard gancho. So, ladies, um, it feels like a backward motion, and you should never kick your foot, flick your foot, ever. Can, in fact, shall I do it so you can... Well, that's it, yeah, that's it, perfect. You stick that one. Okay, so it's lady, I can't see that. So, uh, what we want to do is to slide the foot in an arc, staying connected with the floor until you can feel the leader's thigh, and then flick. Okay, we are certainly not doing a, a kick back. That's just fraught with danger. So, um, first of all, it also feels like I'm going backwards into it. So I feel as though I'm doing an arc on the floor. I get to about there, to be honest. You can see that far back, and I can feel that thigh. I think I'm safe, I've got space. I've connected, I can't go any further with my thigh, so I'm not going to let this flourish flick at the end. So if we just get into the, into the gancho position. <clears throat> so I can feel that, okay, I'm going to slide it through, finding the space. And I can feel there, there's a connection there. Okay, so even if it's there, I can, I just go, I can't see, so I'm just feeling my way through. And if I feel it's connected, then I do a little flick on the end. But I certainly don't go and just try and kick. Okay, should we try that? Mm -hmm. Do you want a bit of a run up? <laughs> don't do it that way. So just a quick, quick slow one. Mm -hmm. Ready? Yes. Ready and quick, quick, slow and. Okay, should we do it a few times? Mm -hmm. Ready, and quick, quick, slow, and. So if you see, I'm almost going backwards, and there's a huge amount of rotation. So it's a very much a backwards, it's a slightly diagonal feeling. If we took Phil away, and I was to do it on my own, I would feel that. I would feel about a 45 degree angle. But I do feel my centre is moving away from my foot at the same time. When I go into a gancho and do this one down straight here so I've done a quick quick slow I'm turning my body and my body would be to diag center for the, to me to execute this because I've got to lead it okay in Argentine tango it's the man that's leading and initiating so as my we'll talk about my foot shortly but um, as I've got my part I've got to position my partner so she can execute the gancho. So what I'm doing from here, I'm turning her. As I turn, yeah. I'm turning her so her shoulders are level with mine. Okay? Now as I've turned her, there is now the position for her to do that gancho through there. If I kept her straight, then the chances are her foot's going to come straight into the back of my leg. So she's got to turn. That's the position, that's the movement. That's how the gancho is executed. How it's executed safely, for sure. <laughs> I'm just doing this quick. 
uh, from John George. Phil, always remember that the only time you will be right is when you admit you are wrong. <laughs> that sounds like the voice of experience. <laughs> Okay, so we're looking at how to do it safely and to do it authentically and to do it so it feels good as well. Mm. So you've got this um, momentum that's been created by the quick, quick slow and you want it to be like a nice flourish on the end. Ready? And quick, quick, slow and. Okay, did you see how much rotation we have at the end? So it goes forward, forward, rotate on the end. Rotate and compress at the end. Ready, and quick, quick, slow, and. Okay. Now, you'll notice where we set it before that we were both, even though we've been executed, we were both in our own balance. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah we should do that and actually stop mm -hmm. at the yes. end. So we'll stop in the actual gancho position. One, two, three, and. So maybe that's a little exercise you can try at home and um, to see. I mean, I'm, we're very um, one side to the other, aren't we? Yes. My right side is really connected to your left side. There's a huge amount of rotation there. Again, it's not like ballroom. Mm -hmm. You can, we don't want to be parallel uh, shoulders all the time. We can rotate a lot in the Argentine tango. Right, so we've put all that together. Just one more thing. Sorry. Let's just do that once more. So from here, it's... One, two, three, and. So in that position there, so to make sure that I've got my feet in the right position, you will see that my right foot and toe are, are up against the inside edge of my partner's left foot. Now, technically, this is called the parada. Yeah. Okay? Uh -huh. that, 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 that. But what it does do, it also lets my partner know that I've actually done the parada. Well, I know where his leg is. And she knows exactly where my leg is. Yeah. Okay. And doing that, I'm also in a position to make sure now that my partner's stopped because she can't move that foot in a parada. And I can now execute her body there. Yeah. All about rotation. All about rotation. In the gancho. Yes. So, all the way through. Mm -hmm. From the start. From the start, oh. should we go with music? Yes. Should we do it three times? Three times. Three yes. times from the start. At that point, we'll just take any questions you've got. If you want to do it again, we'll do it again. Um, if not, we'll look at the hero. Mm -hmm. If anybody wants to stay on, please do. And see how an authentic, um, pure Argentine tango would interpret those figures that we do in a stroll. So it's, you know, it's just a little bit of interest, really. Okay. Okay, three goes? Yes. Three goes with music. Okay, here we go, guys.
There we go. And you will notice that if you were listening um, while you were trying to dance, is that Gancho is executed with the with the foot coming through and it matches her wand. Yes, wand. Wand. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. okay. So we've got hearts coming up. Good. Um, we've got probably about 10 minutes, something like that. Okay. Shall we just have a little explain? If at home you'd like to, you can join in if you want to, or you can have yes. a little, just listen to it and then maybe try later. But what a hero is. Yes. Go on, then off you go. <laughs> <laughs> um, a hero is spelt with a G. A lot of people, <laughs> for the first time, when they see it written and pronounced it as gyro. Um, it's G-I-R-O, um, and the hero actually uh, goes round, you've got a, in, in Argentine yeah. tango, there are two main heroes, one to the left and one to the right. Yeah. And as ever in, within the Argentine tango, it's to the, up to the man to actually initiate the move for <sighs> her, his partner. <laughs> And you can hear the sighs in the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is very, this definitely is a man's dance. Oh, it is. There's no, it no is, question yeah. about it. We do, we do have um, a role to play, an active role. Oh, and yes, I'm not yes. being funny, we really do. Mm. Uh, that a man would initiate a move in tango now, um, and then the follower would read it create something. It may not be what the man was expecting, but that's absolutely fine. And then the man would react. Yes. So it's like a constant play between you. Yeah, there's, um, some people call it, um, there's almost like, it, it, it's a really sensual dance from this hold here. This is sensual. This is a real sensual dance. But then when the man is starting to initiate something, okay, it can be, as he offers the opportunity for his partner to do something, it can be then, as some people have called it, almost a little bit more of attrition, where the, um, his partner is executing something and the man is then waiting to see what she does. And all the while he's thinking, well, it might not have been quite what I was expecting it to do, but he's all the while thinking then as, and watching what she's doing, ready to initiate something else. Yeah. Yeah. So it's just not going to go, it's just, yes, because um, with four over four, Argentine tango is danced in uh, rhythms of 16 bars and then into quarters of it. So the man will be listening to the music. Yeah. And the wonderful thing about uh, Argentine tango, you can dance to the music, you can dance on the one beat or the two beat, yeah. or you can ignore the music altogether. Well, yeah. To a certain yeah. extent. Yeah, you dance to your own tune. Yes, <laughs> yes, you can, you know. I don't like this one. <laughs> so, it was very nice. Yeah, just remember that Argentine tango is that one dance where there is no routine. Yeah, that's true. There is no, the Argentine tango is not danced to a routine of any kind. There are certain moves, and I know when we teach, we teach talk about a bronze, silver, and gold, and above gold levels, and there are certain moves, and the idea of that is that you piece those moves together to execute the dance. Yeah. And it's to the man as to how he executes it, listening to the music, and how one move would fit in with another. Mm -hmm. Flow. Yes. Flow. It, yes. Salon tango is very smooth. It, it flows. Uh, it's not jilted in any way, and it's certainly, uh, it's, not like, it's not didactic in any way, like uh, a ballroom tango. Argentine tango flows and it's very smooth and keeps moving. Mm, it's lovely. Yes. So, the hero. It's lovely, it's like my last piano. Um, so, the hero. Yes. So, if we use the stroll, which we now know, and then we're going to look at how uh, you would use it in tango, Argentine tango. So, if we were to take and say, so if we were to go from the hook, or the high below, whichever one you choose, from here, okay? So we come down on a slow. Now I've got a quick, quick slow, but we wouldn't normally take it out in a linear fashion. We would keep this rotating. Quick, quick, slow, and same steps for me, slightly different for leader. Okay? You're thinking, what did you do then? No. I'm thinking, what did I do then? 
Okay, so from the hook line, I still put my foot down. Man is creating a cicada through my feet. He's putting his weight to it, which displaces my right leg. I'm still going to do behind side forward into an ocho, but instead of doing it against line of dance, I'm going to keep moving it round. Behind, side, forward, front ocho. Okay, so you've done it already, but we're now doing it in a circle. Can I explain? Leader steps are a bit different. Mm -hmm. Leader steps here, we've actually gone into a check, that yeah. step, and a check, and our partner has done um, a hook or a hibaleo. Now then, as I start to turn here, I know that my partner, I'm leading around to do that uh, hero. But as I'm bringing around what I am doing, as Shana's already said, I'm stepping through with my right foot and displacing her right leg. Yes, yeah. it's, it's, it's a positive step as Sakada. I'm stepping through, but my body is turning at the same time. So yeah. my partner can keep turning. And now because I'm on the spot and my partner's coming around me in quite a tight circle, my left foot is in her way. So I am going to place all my weight into my right foot and let this rulo come right the way around. Okay. And then I'll draw this in so it's not in her way. So in um, other dances, we call that a ronde. It's the same thing. Mm -hmm. Argentine tango, we just call it a rulo. It's the same, it's the same figure. Do you want to just try that once more? So the movement is in. Now, as I bring my partner around, I'm stepping through the cicada, keep my upper body turning for her, and there's the rubber. The big scoop round with your left foot as you rotate into the right. Okay, so now you've seen that individually, we'll just watch it again with the two of us. So from the hook line, we've got our slow, quick, quick, slow hand. I'm sure you can do that pretty pretty quickly. Maybe not on carpet, might not be the best. But I think you're all capable very quickly of changing it from a linear figure mm -hmm. to a rotational. If you want to have a try. And you will know that um, here, when we have a slow, a slow. Now, in the Argentine stroll, when I came out of this, I placed my foot flat on the floor. Now, if I do that in... Argentine tango, I cannot actually execute the cicada. So this time, as I'm coming out, I keep all my weight into my left foot, so now I can make that step. There's the next slow. Now, where, my where Shanna is actually doing a quick, quick slow, I'm doing two slows with the ruler. Slow, slow, slow. slow. That was well done on your own. Mm. <laughs> that means not going to go around. <laughs> Let's try it again. So we've got our slow. You don't want to call yours out, I'll call mine out. Okay. So I'll call slow, this slow, 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 quick, slow, quick, slow, slow. And. Okay. Hope you like that. Um, <laughs> um, so, yes. That's, we'll dance, I think we'll dance it one more fluidly. Yes. Um, yeah, just fluidly. So we are slow, 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 quick, quick, slow, and just the same timing as it was before. Now okay. you also notice here that we start this move in and being able to get a hold. Now with Salon Tango, it's one of the um, permissible uh, ways of dancing Argentine tango that you can go into a hold and you can come out. Yeah. So we start in a milongira hold, a close road, but end up apart. Yeah. Because we move apart to execute the move. The front touch, yeah. The front yeah. Touch. So I've stayed apart because I know what I'm going to execute next. <laughs> <laughs> but because I've stayed apart and I've not come into that hold, my, old, my partner also knows that we're not going into a close hold. So, ooh, what's coming next? Yeah. So, what we've done up to now, we've done the hook. That has now become, rather than a zigzag or a long day, that's become a hero to the right. Yes. Okay, we call that a hero to right. We do the frontocho, and we're going to reverse it now. 
and come out with a hero to left, using the same steps as the other two in the stroll. So we're going to do the hero to right first of all again. Okay. So from the hook line, so we've got our slow, da, 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 da. Okay, you can feel that it's turned. We're now going to keep the movement going, but rotating it to the left. We'll dance it first. We're going to use the same timing as the Argentine stroll. So we've got our four slows. One, two, three, four. Uh, but we're going to keep the um, gancho as it is. So you're going to run very slightly turning. Quick, quick, slow, and. Okay, so we've got a hero to left, a hero to right, a hero to left. And then a little gancho on the end. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> yeah. So from the we're from the hook. We'll from the, from yeah, the from the hook. hook. So we'll stop. Okay. So slow, quick, quick, slow, and. Okay. Yeah. That's it. I'm expecting you to go. I don't know. I was going to stop. So we've got the four slows. One, two, three, four. And then you're in that promenade position, ready to go, as we did before, with a little curl on the end. Quick, quick, slow, and. Woo! Nice. Now, my steps, mine are easy. Well, they're the same as the stroll. So let's do my steps first. Yes. And I'll just double check. Check, see how things are going. So we've done the hook, the down, the uh, hero to the right, with a front touch shell on the end. It's just the same, except we're going to curl it round. So it, we before we did forward, side, back, side, one, two, three, four. Just the same, but taking it round to the left this time. So we go forward, side, back, side. Then we're in a promenade position of sorts. So we're just going to run forward, turning it very slightly towards the end. Forward, side, back, gancho. OK, I hope that makes sense. Liz Kelly says, oh, I like it. Same, I hope he's not here. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, it is hard if you're on your own. We do. Ian you know, O'Malley wants me to demonstrate my steps with this, we'll be with my back to the camera. Will we get a fat rascal for it? Ian, if you're listening, which we hope you are, <laughs> you can see her turns, <laughs> can't you? It's amazing. <laughs> I like the mouth walking up there. Yeah. Um, so, I'll do it once more for follow up. So, we've done our hook, we're coming down. So as we do our round the back, this is just the same, except we curl it round, quick, quick, slow, and. Now we're going to do the hero to the left. One, two, three, four. Then it goes forward, quick, quick, slow, and. Um, Ian says yes, okay. <laughs> we're very happy. <laughs> okay, so you're going to do with your back to the camera. So bring my back to the camera, okay? I've got my step forward and there is a, another press line so my partner can do you know either the hook or the um the high glaio. Now as I'm turning my body, upper body is turning it. When I get to here. This is where I step through with the cicada, and this displaces her right foot. Okay? As you can see, I'm still turning to the right. Now the ruler comes around with a slow, slow. From here, as my partner does her first steps going round into her hero to the left, I'm going to do another ruler. There's one, two. Now as my partner does her next steps to finish the hero to the left off, here I'm going to do another ruler, but this one now comes round the back with a one, two. And to make sure with this one, so I can line my partner up to go down the line of dance, I will turn my position here, ready to execute that. So basically what we're doing is, for the leader, three rulers from here, We've got the cicada, there's the first ruler, there's the second one, there's the third one, and then we've got a quick, quick, slow, and. Yeah. So for leaders, on those four slows, 
that we, we did, it's nothing like those now. The follower steps remain the same, but it's impossible for the leader to because you're right in the middle of that circle. So your steps on the one, two, three, four and our rulo, close, rulo, close, in a sense, aren't we? I, I'm executing those rulos, and I'll, I'll show, if I don't do it, you'll see, you'll see and, and this, some people would actually do this, and I mean, I, I don't mean people um, sort of uh, heart and Argentine tango leaders, uh, you, you would see some people that haven't done Argentine tango for, you know, uh, much. Um, that as I come out of this press line here, okay, they would move around and from here they would more than likely stay still and move around this way again. and then they'd try and execute it so i'm doing i'm putting styling in using the rulers yeah and that's what it should be yeah, and that's what it should be yeah but what you're trying to you're executing a smoothness of it also from here this is the first one this is the second there's the third, and then, and then run, run, run. <laughs> run away. Yes. So let's show how that fits together. Now you've seen both sets, and we'll try and do it with a timing as well, and then we'll have a few goes to music. So we've got the hook. Okay, so this is a slow, quick, quick, slow, and. So our first step, follower goes forward left, leader does the rulo. One. I set to the side, leader closes, two. So we are both doing a sort of a rondé on the third count, but this time, leader, you're doing it with your left as well as the follower. We're both doing it with our left, so it should be a nice similarity there. And then leader closes, follower steps to the side. Then you're together, you should just kind of end up being together on the end of fourth, so fourth slow, so that you can do your gacha. There's a bit more rotation at the end. So we'll do it slowly again. So from the hook, so we can down, quick, quick, slow and one, two, three, four, run, quick, quick, slow and. Does that make sense? It's <laughs> it's something um, that if you've never done Argentine tango before, that has really thrown you in the deep end. If you have an Argentine tango, hopefully you go, ah, I get it, I see how that fits. I noticed before when uh, Honeybun here was doing her uh, steps that I think it was Brenda down in Devon up there that said, ooh, she said, this looks totally different. Now, all that we've done is the very same steps, basically, yeah. as going down the line of dance in the Argentine stroll, but we've executed them in what really is an Argentine, a proper Argentine tango style. Yeah, an authentic Argentine, authentic tango. Argentine yeah. tango. Obviously yes. the, the Argentine stroll is fantastic. Yes. And it gives you such a great flavour, but the, you wouldn't be able to do it on the spot. There'd be no sequence mm -hmm. feel about it. So they, they just lengthened it out so it runs down the line of dance. Mm -hmm. But it's quite nice to understand. Yes. You'll notice how we executed that, that we, we finished here in the Argentine stroll, so that's where we finish once again with the um, the Argentine tango. When we've executed this second part with the rulos, it's taken us one way, it's taken us back around, but we've positioned ourselves to go down the line of dance. As down that that side. Yeah, we're going to go around the corner. Yes. So, just for our time. Yes. So shall we dance the hero section? twice mm -hmm. so we'll show you what it looks like if you want to join us fantastic um if you just want to have a little look then maybe play with it at some point even better um and then we do the whole thing through yes three times yeah. can we squeeze all that in okay <laughs> so we we'll do it just the hero section twice and then we'll run it all the way through three times yeah. and you can do your standard one or you can do this little pivoty one I don't know which one he's going to choose. I'll let him lead. <laughs> okay. All right. Here we go.
Okay, so let's do it all the way through now. Three goes to finish off. Shall we just keep it going for three? Yes. We'll just and I'm going to just follow you. Oh, yeah. So you might stroll it or you might Argentine tango it. Okay, you ready? Here we go, everybody. Let's go for the evening. thinking it's perhaps not what everybody wants, but there's still about 50 at the end. Well, yeah, thank you for staying with us, and having, even if it's just having a little look, it's all useful information, I think. Yes, it's, um, uh, you know, uh, traditional Argentine tango is a lovely dance, yeah. it really is. Yeah. Um, and it's worth understanding, nothing else. Yes, it takes a while to get to understand, yeah. doesn't it? Like yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. And it might be something we come back to, it depends how long, obviously, we're off. Yes. Uh, but we might we might come back to it at some stage. Um, also, thank you to everyone who sent their emails in. Um, I think they're about 15, 16. Mm -hmm. So we've added you all to the newsletter list. If anyone out there did miss that on Saturday, if you send me your email address, I'll uh, just buy a messenger or in the comments or, or whatever, and uh, I'll add you to the distribution list. And then we know what we in the future, we might put things on and we'll let you know. And we can do it all again. Hmm. Right, um, we should be back uh, Friday morning yes. with the third part. Uh, yeah, so make sure you're um, at a good night's sleep. <laughs> yeah, feeling very energetic Friday yeah. morning, 11.30. Yes. Um, and, then, book and then finish off third part of the tango. Book and on Friday evening, we shall finish off the yeah, tango. Yeah, obviously there's only about three or four parts oh, left, not much left. Yes. And I'll give you a little bit more of the history. Yes, yeah. yeah. So... Um, as ever, um, stay safe, stay well, keep dancing and keep practicing. And even if you're not watching, you still make sure that you're safe and you can get oh, yes, your yes. back. Um, but from us to you, good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Take care. Love to you all. See you on Friday.